On top of a large flask is a balloon filled with water. Next, a paper is set on fire and placed into the flask. Watch what happens. During the chemical reaction, gases are produced and heated up, and they try to exit the container, the flask, and you can see that the balloon is kind of being pushed around because those hot gases are exiting. Now what happens when the flame goes out is the gases start to cool down rapidly, and since they are cooling down, they are condensing, taking up less space, lowering the pressure inside, causing the balloon to be pushed in from the outside because the atmospheric pressure is greater than the inside pressure, and the balloon gets pushed down into the flask. To get the balloon out, you have to blow into the flask, and that causes the balloon to get pushed back out. It's kind of funny looking at it. Now, if you want to take it up a notch, do the same thing, but this time use a much bigger balloon filled with much higher quantity of water. Now, what can happen is the balloon, yes, will get sucked into or get pushed into the flask, but if you have right conditions, then the balloon will pop and explode everywhere. It's pretty fun when you have students in the room and that happens. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't.